Hello and welcome to this short video on the microsite editor. So first of all, what is a microsite and um, uh, why do you need one? So a microsite is branded content uh, that lives outside of your main URL. And in our case, we, we have some really powerful and unique URLs. So we have madeinthemidlands.com, madeinyorkshire.com, and backinbritain.com. So members have their own space within within the platform. So it could be your company name dot made in the Midlands .com, or if you're using Yorkshire, it's your company name dot made in Yorkshire .com. And secondly, we have a suite of tools. So we have um, um, different publishing tools, um, mailbox tools, and we have a massive subscription list uh, for several thousand uh, subscribers. So users, people who've signed up for our newsletters, anybody's ever been to one of our events um, gets an aggregated weekly newsletter, which is featuring from uh, news stories from the from the network, from the, from the, the MADE platform. So um, the microsite, the MADE platform microsite is a living, breathing document. Uh, in many cases, it looks better than most of our members' own websites. So it's it's an effective tool and uh, it doesn't necessarily replace a website, but it, it definitely has some features which are unique and make it uh, very compelling uh, when stacked against just you know what a traditional website would do. So if I quickly show you what the microsite uh, looks like. So you can see here, this is a, a branded website. I've only just started to uh, design it. So we've got a, a banner image there. Um, essentially it's one big long uh, web page, but these tabs here make it, give it the look and feel of a much bigger website. So we've got news modules, we've got a bear to section, we've got carousel of images, we've got a Twitter feed um, and we've got a job section. So if I go back to the uh, Microsoft editor section, so those um, pages you can see here, these, these are the different modules. All these are content modules within your microsite. Uh, you can change the order of it here. So if you wanted the news section to go at the top, you could just simply drag and drop. Uh, if you want the job section to be more prominent, you could do this here. Um, each of these modules has a corresponding content um, box. So this is the, the primary color. If you do the hexadecimal code, you could type it in, or you could just use a color palette here. Um, import your, your logo. Um, there's a banner graphic, as we've seen. I've just put a sort of standard default image, but you could customize it. Maybe a picture of the shop floor or something that you uh, make it could be quite interesting. Uh, the About Us section, um, edit your services, um, made TV. So if you had a YouTube video, uh, as what we uh, as what we tend to tend to upload here, uh, company statistics. So this is quite interesting information, particularly for members. They're quite interested to see what the size of the company is, the year it was founded, and how long you've been a member since. Yeah, these, these are interesting statistics. Um, enter your Twitter feed. So whatever your Twitter handle is there would affect the corresponding uh, content on the microsite. And if you didn't want to, to appear, you could simply untick it, save the order, and then if, if we went back into the microsite, that would have actually just disappeared. And then we've got this interesting feature, which is, which is live chat. So I'm going to enable that live chat. Um, we'll save save that, and we'll see what happens when we preview the microsite. So I'll now preview the microsite, and you can see those changes will have gone live um, straight away. So if we see so here, we've got a little chat icon. If I expand that, I can then start chatting to the person on the other end of the microsite. So it's a, it's it's quite an interesting suite of tools uh, that I will. Yeah, probably go into a bit more detail in a separate video, but it's a it's a useful addition to the microsite, and you can see clearly that the uh, the page itself is much more than just a very simple website. It's actually a very comprehensive, very complex um, set of code. You know, it's ten thousand lines of code, and it's a living, breathing document. It's really not a flat website. It's it's not designed purely as, as something which looks nice like a brochure. It's really you know it's really sort of uh, a hard-working platform um, in terms of delivering news content, uh, promoting the companies and um, enhancing the brand. And that's what we're really trying to do, which is enhance the brand of the manufacturing community uh, within the Midlands, Yorkshire and other parts of the UK. So I hope you found that interesting. That's the Microsite Editor. It's a core part of the functionality, a really important part of the made platform. It's, it's the way that people can find you um, from the member search directory and from news articles. So thanks very much for listening.